Good morning. Welcome to my first book talk of the year. Um, I didn't actually read too terribly many books over the summer because I've been doing a lot of cleaning and organizing and remodeling and stuff of a uh, home. So I did, however, do a readathon this last weekend. I participated in the Dewey's Reverse Readathon, and what that is is instead of starting at eight o'clock in the morning like Dewey's Readathon normally does, it starts at eight o'clock at night. Um, I did not read all 24 hours. I knew I was going to need to sleep after the first week back to school, uh, but I did get 15 hours and 15 minutes in, um, and I read a couple of things. So I'm going to tell you about those. Um, I started the readathon in the middle of this book, like almost exactly in the middle of Rainbow Rolls, Any Way the Wind Blows. If you know anything about this particular author, um, you'll know that this is book three in the Simon Snow trilogy. And sadly, it is the final book. Um, sometimes you get to the end of a big book like that and then, and then they say, oh wait, but it's not really a trilogy, there's more. So um, as I was reading, I was kind of hoping that that was going to be the way it was, but it was not. They prepare you on the jacket flap that there's going to be. This is a book about endings and it really was. Um, and it was a wonderful journey throughout. Um, but sadly, it was the last one. So I can't tell you too many things about it because it is the last book in a trilogy. Um, but if you like kind of like grown-up magical school, like they went to a magical school but now they're not in it anymore and it's about the things that they do after, uh, but there's a lot of adventure and romance and crazy things happening um, and it is just a really good fun series. I would recommend it to really anybody honestly. Um, we have all of them in the library now. So if you want to check it out, do that. Um, I also listened to Finna by Nate Marshall on audio. It is poetry. We have it here in print in the library. I would also recommend um, checking out the audio through uh, Tennessee Reads on Overdrive. I really, really like to listen to poetry on audio because then um, I feel like it's just really powerful, especially if it's read by the author, as this one is. Um, oftentimes, if you get an audio collection of poetry, it's going to be read by the author. But like I said, that to me is the way to do it. Um, when you're looking at words on a page, um, for example, like I did not know when I was listening to the audio that in this particular poem, um, the words are upside down. You know, that's a detail that I missed listening to the audio. Um, so there's, there's pros and cons to either, but anyway, like I said, this one is about um, community and identity and race, and it's just really, really good and timely, um, so check it out if you're interested. It's a very quick read, but powerful. Um, my last thing I'll tell you about is the one that I started reading immediately after my, you know, crushing devastation at the end of any way the wind blows, um, Deadly a Deadly Education. I read it on my Kindle, okay? A, a Deadly Education by Naomi Novik, which I'd seen books of hers around and about, but I hadn't read any. Um, this one is also a magical school, but it's a different sort of magical school. Um, in this particular universe, if you are a wizard, um, you can be a wizard if your parents aren't wizards. You can just have like wizard capabilities. And whether you come from a magical family or not, when you hit a certain age, you pop into what's called the Scholomance, which is a school, sort of, but there's no teachers. Um, and there's this kind of weird thing where the school rotates like on an annual basis. So eventually you're going to come to graduation. And by graduation, it just means it's time to get out of the school because you're on the bottom level where all the monsters are. And you have to make alliances and prepare and get ready for that harrowing escape from the school that you've spent the last four years surviving, basically, um, by teaching yourself magic with the tools that you're provided. So it was very interesting. Um, one of the main characters is super, super sassy, and I love her. Um, so if you like danger and magic and monsters and not it's not really it's not really a love story because she's like fending this person off like all all book but um i will buy it for the library so you can check it out when we get it or you can go to tennessee reads um, and check it out there if you have a library card if you don't have a library card ask us how to get one it's super easy and free so just let us know if you need help with that 
and if we haven't seen you yet in the library hopefully we will see you here soon so you can check out some books and talk to us so have a nice day guys